My name is Skylar. I am one of the admissions counselors here. Um, you may be one of my students. I cover Northern Jersey and parts of Staten Island. Um, and today we have Tara who's involved with career services, which is very important. So I will let her speak and tell her a little about yourself. Thanks, Guy. Hi, everyone. It's nice to have you join us virtually. I usually like to do this in person and see everyone in front of me. So I'm just going to imagine you're smiling and not actually scrolling through your phones, being distracted as I'm telling you about something really important. So I manage career services. Uh, our office is called CASE, which stands for Center for Academic and Career Engagement. And I handle the career engagement part. What I love about my job, I handle the career coaching with students. So I work with everyone from freshman year right through to graduate level, and I'm there to help coach you on what you want, where you want to go, and how you're going to get there. And I give you resources and tools to get there. Uh, it's very customized and very hands on. I love working one on one with students. I'm able to do a lot of group work. I go into classes. I do a lot of guest um, lecturing and workshops. But the piece that I really enjoy is the one-on-one -on -one connection. And because Wagner is such a family, we're able to offer that um, high-touch approach. I also manage professional development events. So some of the events that we organize each year, uh, one is called Speed Networking, and it's a chance for students in a safe space to practice their networking skills uh, with various professionals in different industries. Another event that I organize is the Etiquette Dinner, so you can learn proper etiquette when dining on an interview or on a job interview or um, just in an exploratory conversation with someone but you're having a meal so we we have a workshop on that we also have this really amazing event every year uh, spring semester called career conversations if any of you have been attending some of the uh, admissions events you might hear about this a lot it's a great moment for students to connect with alum uh, one of the beautiful things about Wagner is because we are a family, our alumni are very deeply connected with us and we work very closely with them in many ways, including career conversations where students are able to network with alum uh, according to industry and job title. And it could be that they have internship opportunities. It could be they're just there to be a mentor to you. There's so many um, pathways that can be opened up thanks to the connection with the alum. The, uh, the third area I handle outside of professional development, the third area is employer relations. So while we don't work as a recruitment office, we're not placing you in jobs or internships, I manage relationships with all the employers. Uh, when there's opportunities that come up, I'm pushing out job opportunities to students. And by jobs, that could be internships, could potentially be volunteer work, field work, volunteer work. Uh, helping build relationships with different employers where we find a lot of students tend to pipeline into. And a lot of this also feeds back to our alumni connection. Students that graduate, they then want to pay it forward, and they're always coming back looking to uh, connect with Wagner students. That is the essence of the areas I cover. Uh, I would say my, my philosophy is in career coaching, I really love fostering a positive forward momentum with every student and being goal oriented and i also want you to feel you don't have to come and see me and know exactly what you want to do i once heard a student tell me actually they were introducing me to other students they were a, a, giving a tour of uh prospective students and they said oh that's tara she helps you figure out your life i can't figure out your whole life but i'm definitely there to help you figure out the pieces to how you might want to develop your career and i never want you to feel like there's one pathway that you have to go down i'm there to explore with you various pathways but whatever it is i'm going to give you the tools and resources to put your best self forward that's great um one of the questions we do get a lot Tara, is about internships about for different majors yeah you know, and, and because we require internships, students are always wondering, and parents, do they have to find their own internship? How does that work? How do we help them with that? Um, so could just explain some of the internships sure. and how that works. Sure, no problem. So the Wagner plan is, it, it incorporates a lot of experiential learning. So essentially, by the time you graduate Wagner, you have had at least one form of experiential learning, which is an internship or a volunteer experience. Um, and we obviously encourage you to have a lot more than that, but at the very least, you're gonna come away with one internship experience. Now, I'm there to help you figure out what that internship is, help you find how to get there, 
how to best market yourself and brand yourself and put yourself out there. Sometimes I'm able to really connect the dots and be a matchmaker. And you'll tell me, uh, you know, our business majors, I really want to go into investment manage, uh, investment banking, wealth management. Well, through the years, and thanks to alumni as well and our students, I have a lot of connections with different companies. We are very close to New York City. There is an endless amount of opportunity at all times. Even today, there is a ton of opportunity. It might be more remote and virtual than before, but there's lots of opportunity just over the bridge to Manhattan. And so we then connect the students as best as I can. I'm introducing them to alum. I'm sharing with them info sessions and recruitment events that are taking place, whether it's going to be on campus or off campus, where they can visit the employers, learn more about the opportunity. I also love to uh, work with the students in different disciplines. So that was one example of business. But on the nursing side, we have stu obviously the nursing students are going to be doing preceptorships. We have partnerships with any, with any number of hospitals in the New York City area. Um, but I also work with you on that outreach. Um, we our computer science majors, math science majors. I work with a number of different STEM organizations to help connect the dots between our students and their internship opportunities in that area. Same thing for our psych majors. I mean, the list could go on and on. I guess the best way to answer your question, Sky, is when someone asks me what kind of internships can you offer, I say, tell me where you want to go and I'll help you get there. Because we have we have an endless amount of opportunity just you know, a few, few miles away from our doorstep at Wagner. Mm -hmm. um, one of the students asked in the group, can international students have the opportunity to intern? Yes, absolutely. You. You will have the, every student has the opportunity to intern. You're here on a student visa, so you absolutely can pursue internships. There will certainly be some restrictions or difficulties with certain companies, depending on your major, depending on what you're doing. There are some companies, and I'm speaking very general, there are some companies that won't take on international students as interns, and that is because they are actually looking to take on an intern that in the long term, maybe a year out, they then want to hire those students. And if you're an international student, most companies aren't going to sponsor you for a work visa. They're, they're looking to give the opportunity to Americans. But as far as interning as an international student, absolutely. I work with a lot of our international students, and that's one of the great things. You really get to experience what it's like to work in you know, the, the New York City and have that experience and then take it back to your home country to say you had work experience in that in New York City. We do have a large population. We have quite a bit of international students who have definitely participated in our various internships. Um, as far as internships, um, because that's the probably the, the biggest thing for, you know, students now, a lot of students feel like they can't venture out into different fields. Um, would you recommend they venture out in different, so say like I was a psychology major, would you recommend that they try other internships in other fields? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> okay, so I mean, there's kind of two parts to that. So in the context of the Wagner plan and what your major is, there is going to be an internship you have to do for credit. And in that sense, it has to be approved by your advisor and it does have to somehow relate to your major. That's the one that's the internship that's relevant for credit. However, I highly recommend you take on multiple internships. We have students that have held seven, eight, nine internships in the four years that they were at Wagner and they were exploring a whole bunch of industries. So what I will say to your question is the other half of this is your major doesn't necessarily define your your career path. And it doesn't necessarily lock you into what you intern in. So, for example, and I get this a lot, a student's majoring in business, they're concentrating in marketing, they're looking for marketing internships. They don't have to just look for internships in marketing. They may be very interested in human resources in the healthcare industry. They may be very interested in working in pharmaceuticals and be and trying finance. There are so many pathways, so it's all about really identifying what are your areas of interest, how can you demonstrate your transferable skills and your, your, um, your potential to learn and try something new beyond what you might have some classroom experience in. 
but you don't have to feel if I just do this major, then I can't intern in other areas. If I'm a psych major, how could I take on a marketing internship? Actually, there's a lot of synergy in those areas and you'd be surprised how you're able to take on internships in different, different uh, industries. Are they doing, and students, please ask questions if you have them for Tara. Um, are, are we concerned or are students concerned about how COVID is going to affect us going forward? Are there like virtual internships maybe? Because yeah. um, I know we're all stuck at home, so we don't really know what's going to happen in the next couple of months, unfortunately. So I wish I had a crystal ball and I can just say, don't worry, it's all gonna be great. But actually it is all gonna be great because we're gonna do the best we can with what we have. And we, as in my office and the Wagner community is here to help support you as best as possible as we move through this. Now with that, job market is definitely a challenging place right now. Does that mean there's no opportunity? Not at all. There is tons of opportunity. It's just you have to be more creative, more strategic. You have to try things you may not have thought about trying. You have to open your level of curiosity because it will ultimately set building blocks towards where you really want to get to in the long term. Now, as far as just practical matters, there are at this moment, a lot of internships obviously have been canceled simply because we're just navigating new waters. But what I'm noticing now when I'm starting to hear, there's a number of companies now really ramping up and adjusting their services to offer remote and virtual internships. Uh, and I think that's only going to continue as we keep moving through our current situation. Everyone has to adapt to being in this virtual space. So you're gonna see more and more of that. And um, at the same time, there's always ways to get creative and get hands-on experience, especially in a time like now, as, as young, aspiring future leaders you guys have minds in a new in a way that many of us can't think you have open minds so you should be really thinking creatively of how can you explore a, something new what could be a solution that you come up with that could really open up a new pathway for for the greater of everyone that's really important nowadays just to think outside the box yeah <laughs> we're going to have to um the student had a question and wanted to know are there any experience with internships at late night shows or 30 Rock? That's so funny. I just asked that because I was just talking with an alum who graduated in 2000 and she's a director at, at um, Seth Meyers show, late night, late night mm. with Seth Meyers. But we have a lot of students that work with the late night shows and we have a lot of alum that have since been, you know, students that graduated and were hired to work in the late night shows from SNL to um, uh, Fallon, um, and then also a lot of just the TV industry in general, you know, New York City, it, we're not Hollywood, but New York has a lot of broadcast television networks. So there is some great opportunity here and quite a few of our arts admin students go into those internships. Yeah, that's definitely um, very popular. I've heard of students I've even gone to school with that way and they're going to late night shows and they're very excited about that. Yeah, um, it's, it's definitely an opportunity that we have seen. Um, or heard about as a student, definitely. Um, just another question I would have is for the students, when do you recommend they would come to you to talk to you about all this stuff? Because you can never come too early. <laughs> I actually love when I get the first year students coming to see me because you don't come very often. Uh, I, you know, Traditionally students start coming to me and this is not what I recommend, <laughs> but I can tell you what the pattern is. They get through the first year of adjustment, sophomore year, a few more people start coming because they're thinking, oh, I got to start finding an internship or I want to get some experience. I'm thinking about my major. And then by junior year, I have everyone coming in to see me and of course senior year. But I recommend come and see me as soon as you can. Within the first few weeks when you start school, make an appointment to see me. I am a very approachable person. I have a very automated process so that when you reach out to me, there's going to be some things we can do to help you feel more prepared for when we do meet. And it could simply be you just want to have a conversation. You're not sure where to go with your career. And I could give you some great ideas with um, areas to, to, to explore. So don't ever feel like you should be coming to me once you have your career figured out because then we're going to develop it. You should be coming to me because you really don't know what you want to do. I'm here to help you figure that out. Definitely. She helped me, everybody. So that was, that was <laughs> when I went to Wagner. Um, one of the, I think one of the great things that you do is the Women's Professional Network, which we tried to highlight in admissions as much as possible um, because we do have obviously a large female population. 
Um, so could you tell students a little bit about that and how that works? Oh, the Women's Professional Network, which we refer to as WPN, it's a fantastic organization. I, I work as the advisor to it on the student side and I partner closely with alumni relations. And essentially what we put together are a series of lunch and learn events throughout the school year. They're always gonna be on a Friday, not every Friday, but they are on a Friday and they take place in the city at the alum's office. And the alum will be hosting uh, lunch and also talking about their career, how they got there, maybe some challenges they faced. Oftentimes they'll have a theme to the workshop. So it might be about uh, you know, how to navigate your career right after graduation or how to uh, promote your, get yourself promoted from within a company or learning more about the television industry. We've had all different themes and it's a chance to build connections and community both with the women of Wagner as uh, on campus, the students, as well as alum. And that continues. So after you graduate, you're able to plug into your special board of directors with the WPN when it comes to networking or job opportunities or mentoring. There's any number of ways to bolster your professional development with the WPN. Yeah, we definitely like to highlight that with a lot of our students, um, just for them to get involved, a lot of students. I should say to get involved, to actually join it, all you have to do is raise your hand and come and see me. So, you know, we don't just put a blanket invitation out to all students, sign up to attend this lunch and learn. You have to take some initiative and you, you will probably get recruited at some point. An upperclassman will tell you about it and say you should really join. I have open houses each semester to encourage students to sign up, but you have to take the initiative of saying, I want to join. And then that's it. And the requirement to join is very simple. You meet with me, you have an approved resume, LinkedIn profile, and you agree to attend an event and arrive on time and to send a follow-up thank you note. It's basic professional etiquette, but it's fantastic uh, habits to build now. So when you get into the job market, it's like a no-brainer for you with how to build your, your network. Definitely good habits to learn um, as you're a student. Um, also, we also love to highlight like career conversations. And I know that this semester, unfortunately, it was not able to happen because of COVID and because students were had to go home. Could you just talk a little about how that works and why you think that's such a great opportunity for students? Yeah, so the great thing about career conversations is, you know, the connection that students make with alum, but also there's a lot of job opportunities that come out of it, internships, mentorships, just long-term relationships for professional development. So we have alum volunteer their time in the evening. Uh, they're coming from every industry across all different uh, levels. They could be CMOs and they could be entry level. They're all coming to help pay it forward to a Wagner student. And we, so the event didn't take place, but we still have the list of alum that registered and we're still sharing that with the students and set, uh, promoting virtual connections for the students to build relationships with the alum. Uh, it's, the event takes place in the city at a really swanky space. Everyone dresses professionally. It's, uh, we provide transportation. Everyone's given business, all our students are given business cards. And we prep you beforehand on how to approach people. What do you say? You're gonna walk up to a stranger? It's not a stranger, you have to build the connection. So how do you build that relationship with the person? And this is a great place to get that practice because in your career, you're gonna always have to go up to someone you don't know and put yourself out there. So this is an area where it's a, it kind of breaks the ice for you on how to network effectively. That's such a great opportunity. I feel like students sometimes take advantage of that. Um, but you should, even when you're a sophomore, um, it's still yeah, we, it's open to all students and really it, you should be signing up for it from your freshman year. This is not something that's just for, oh, I'm a senior and I'm graduating. I need to get a job. That is this, that is not what this is. Go from your freshman year. In fact, it would be amazing if you, the class of 2020, meaning you guys now were to suddenly be the ones that really overwhelmed the list of student registrations. And we had the, the largest first year students attend for next year. That would be incredible. Um, because you will really be planting seeds that are going to reap huge rewards for you within three, four years down the road uh, at Wagner. Definitely. And, and take advantage of the services. Para's always there and you, we're, you're going to need her at some point. 
during your time <laughs> there. Um, I just want to see if any students have any more questions for Tara. I know we spoke about a lot of stuff, a little information overload sometimes for students. Um, so them a little, it's, a, it's a lot, but they're they're figuring it out. I would say one other thing too is, uh, you know, if you can't remember what we do or my my area, at some point someone's going to say to you, I need a resume. I have to have a resume. So I'm the person you should think of. We can start there, but just know when you come to see me, it may be that we're helping you with the resume, but believe me, it's going to go a whole lot deeper than that as far as your career development. And you talked a little bit about LinkedIn, and I know that LinkedIn is super important, um, and you definitely help with that. Do they need anything before they come in to see you for that? Um, the best thing you could do uh, for a LinkedIn profile, and all of you should have it. Even now, you might be thinking, oh, I, what do I need it for? I'm a high school senior. You need it. Everyone needs it. The sooner you get on it, the better. What you should have before you come see me, if you can, and I do ask for it when you make the appointment, just create a login. <laughs> as long as you have a password and ID, we can build from there. But you have to have, at least have set up the login. First step. Um, first step. A student has asked, um, I'm an invocal performance major. Are there opportunities for us with the major being so new to the college? Uh, it would depend what kind of opportunities you're looking for. I mean, can she tell me a little bit more about what she means by opportunities? Sorry, I'm thinking as far as internship yeah. and internship she said as far as vocal I can give you some ideas about this and again this is so this is something where you would definitely also want to talk to your advisor as far as what they recognize as the for credit internship piece but what I, off the top of my head what I would be thinking you I'm speaking a little general because I don't know what this particular student is interested in it may be that you do an internship working at the Metropolitan Opera House or in some kind of performing arts venue. Uh, it could be working within the Broadway community. Uh, it could be working even locally on Staten Island in, in one of our local theaters where you're involved in helping to see the behind the scenes of performing arts or live performance. Um, that, I mean, and we cover the gamut when it comes to internship opportunities in that area. But what I would recommend to her, I think you said it was a her, what I would, what I would recommend is that she comes to see me and we could brainstorm on what exactly does she want to be doing and what might be the right places for her to go after. Yeah, definitely come and see me. Um, I just want to reach out and see if anybody else has any more questions for Tara. Um, if not, so I need to thank you very much. Um, any last thoughts, Tara, as we close this out? I know students might have some final questions. Um, I, well, I would say you should just take advantage of all the opportunities that are given to you when you come to Wagner. Um, try and remember the name CASE, C-A-C-E. You will be passing the office multiple times when you walk through our student union and go to the, the hawk's nest. Uh, and that's where I sit. And you shouldn't be intimidated to come see me. There's going to be many moments where you're sitting in your door, you're sitting at home going, I'm not really sure what to do with this information and how to make a career out of this. So please don't hesitate to reach out to me. The thing I love to do is help people figure out what they want and how to get there. So let me help you be successful in doing that. Before we close out, I just want to make sure nobody else has any questions for Tara. Um, of course, you can always reach out to me and I can always answer any questions. I'll definitely put my email in here. Um, and if Tara wouldn't mind, I would love to send her some if I get any. Of course. You can also, I, and you might also want to follow our Instagram page. You might look back at some of the stuff we've posted in the past if you want to get a glimpse of what it looks like when we have our Women Professional Network events or our career conversations. I try to document as much as I can on our Instagram page. It's, uh, what is it? Case, Wagner Case. Right. And I can also include that in here as well and send that to students. That's definitely a highlighting page for you guys. Yeah. Well, I think that's all, Tara. I think they're very quiet today. Um, okay. But I appreciate your time and thank you for coming and speaking with us. Um, so stay safe, everybody. Stay healthy. Um, I'm going to include my email here. It's just scott s. 
malchiodi, M-A-L-C-H-I-O-D-I at wagner.edu. And if you guys have any further questions, feel free to email me and I'll send them to Tara and we can take it from there.